can marry a non-Muslim woman. Um, <laughs> Non-Muslim, uh, 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 Muslim women cannot marry non-Muslim, uh, excuse me, anyway. Um, there are all sorts of things that women in marriage in Islam cannot do and men can do. And I know the quote that you say that they're equal. They are not equal, they're not equal in inheritance, they're not equal in marriage. Um, I, I think it's extraordinary that white women who have got the choices voluntarily give up choices. Why is it but happening? Then, what, 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 why is it happening? Well, there is actually, I mean, uh, women can choose to be masochists, and I'm afraid. Oh, white come, women... come, no. come. That's so patronising. I mean, it's, it's it's verging on the insulting here. That to think that I don't we, mind insulting, are, sorry, can I just because so, I get insulted I just, all the time by I'm Muslims. Not, I'm not looking to insult you. I just right. wanted to point out... I just wanted to point out... Well, uh, that's a start with, of course, but... What did that take from Australia? He, he said Islam is not about white people. I mean, the, the report, the Swansea report, is, of course, showing that there are 60% of converts that are white, but there are, of course, many non-white converts to Islam, and that does need to be pointed out. I think the main issue I see here is that we get bogged down in these intricacies, which are still being very much debated within the Muslim community. This idea that there's a fundamental inequality between men and women, I reject. I'm a Muslim woman, and I reject that. There is fundamental equality, and I reject anything in the Quran that you would hold up to say that there isn't. Now, these are the d details. These are details that are still the being discussed. Sorry, let me just say, the details are being discussed. Let's say from, 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 let's
So when you have these kind of pastors and pastors who sit in audiences and say, well, you know, we can debate certain things out of the Bible and disagree with them, then you're going to find young ladies, British ladies, are confused and they're going to go to Islam because that's the most leaving, obvious choice. Leaving the faith is very much disapproved of, isn't it? Yes, that's right. But the thing is, in my case, my case, I came over to the truth. I went beyond Islam. Didn't stop at the seventh century. I went to the time of Moses. I went to the time of Abraham, to the time of Yahushua, Jesus, the Messiah. And I found truth there. That's where I knew truth is. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, second. Yeah, General, you, you've got a book there. Is, it, is that a quote from the book? Or are you just... I'll be quoting from the book. Right, right, go on. Um, the end well, of faith, yeah? The, the Hadith has lots of rather nasty um, edicts in it. It is apparently the sayings and edicts of the Prophet Muhammad. And, for example, paradise is in the shadow of swords. And the penalty of death for apostasy also comes from the hadith. It isn't in the Quran. But actually, no, 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 actually, so we have to put this into the, into the... Wait a minute, no, no. We have to put this, in, they argue, into the context of the 7th century and those uh, aforementioned tribal squabbles. What, what, what troubles you about Islam, if anything, Jonathan? I mean, I think I'm very careful to car not to caricature Islam. Thank you. you. Know, knowing within Christianity how many different viewpoints there are, I'm sure the same exists within Islam, and it's all about the interpretation of the scriptures. Christianity has changed its view on, you know, sl keeping of slaves, the place of women, uh, the Sabbath, even on war, um, you know, many, many times. Um, but what I am, I think, attracted to Christianity about is, is, is its forgiveness uh, and its love of enemies, not just, you know, I'll forgive you if you repent. Love those who persecute you. But love you. those who persecute Bless those who persecute you. Well, can I, can I and, and yeah. Maybe that is within Islam, but I haven't seen... No, my, my religion is one of, of Jesus on the cross who, while the nails were being banged into God and his hands and his feet and being put to death, he said, I forgive. Well, there's a very, that, that is powerful. There's a very uh, well-known saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, forgive him who wrongs you, do, him, do good to him who does uh, injustice against you and forgive those that wrong you. So, it, it's so all long as they repent. A, no, 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 that's, that no, you're, you're putting something else. This is a great sorry, thing from the on Prophet which Muhammad. Sorry, depends on which school of Islam No, no, it doesn't. This is a, a saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But I think the Why main... Why do you always have to say peace be upon him every time you mention his name? Does, does he require that? You don't have to, but it's really, I, uh, it's I, a really nice marker of respect for prophets in general, and I would say the same for Prophet Jesus, <laughs> peace be upon him, that, you know, these are people that have extremely high esteem in, in our regard. But, um, but I think it's important to point out, we were talking about the reasons why people uh, convert to religion. This is not a, a, a loony decision that people are making. You have to look that uh, for a lot of people, they've investigated different faiths, they've done a lot of research, and they've come to look into the truth claims of various religions and come okay. to this conclusion. We have to leave it there. Thank you so much for all your contributions. Thank you for coming in, and thank you for being such a good audience today. Um, join us next week from Bristol, and goodbye from everyone here in Leicester. See you next week.